Okay, so Kat, can you tell me difference between wash coffee, natural, and fermentation? Yeah, so fermentation happens for most wash coffees and natural coffees okay. in general. So fermentation is not something different than oh. washed or natural. Um, the difference between a natural and a washed coffee is when you pick the coffee cherry from the tree, if you keep it intact and you dry it like that, that is a naturally processed coffee. If you squeeze the cherry out and you wash the mucilage, which is kind of like the fruit mm. of the cherry off and you dry it like that, that's a washed coffee. So that's the difference between natural and a washed. Um, but yeah, fermentation is like a naturally occurring process that happens when yeast and bacteria consume sugar. So it happens in pretty much all coffee processing. Unless you pick the coffee cherry, you like use a, a bunch of uh, machinery to mm -hmm. basically break down the sugar, the mucilage layer. Um, really quickly, but that's very expensive and most producers don't have that, those resources. There's so many okay. different methods that are being created at all, like currently right now, we're like in the, in the history of it. Um, so when fermentation happens is again, there's a coffee tree and the pickers will pick the coffee cherry off of it. And at that moment is when the fermentation can start. So some so you can have like an extended fermentation natural or an extended fermentation washed. So what a lot of producers are doing now is they're controlling how that fermentation happens because in the world or like all around us, there are yeasts and bacteria, and they're going to start the, like the, the chemical breakdown of sugars, the fermentation, whether we want them to or not. That's why, you know, your bananas go bad. That's why, mm -hmm. like, you know, that, that's why food spoils. Um, but so what producers are doing now is they're getting a lot more detailed about how that fermentation happens. So what happened in the video that you just uh, showed mm -hmm. is that there's a particular yeast like a packaged yeast um and they use this a lot in wine they use it a lot in beer and basically using a particular yeast rather than the yeast in the world around you um gives you control over what the flavors will be and how the fermentation will happen so yeah that's, that's it we're waking up the yeast right yep. there yeah, that one we add orange juice. And the reason we add orange juice is actually to minimize the fermentation. And this is adding the orange juice, the, the orange juice. It, and it's really, it's a juice from a citrus fruit called limon mandarina, which is a Colombian citrus fruit that's super, super high acidic. So the acid in that juice actually breaks down the sugars in the coffee layer. So the videos that I am showing here are very, very different from the coffees that Black and White often buys. Um, the In the videos, we're showing fermentation methods basically to get to the green coffee as quickly as we can without impacting the flavor. At Black and White, a lot of our coffees have special fermentations in order to add flavors to the coffee. So, and yeah, so th th they're kind of like two different ways to do it. Um, so yeah, I, I guess a, a, another way to put it is a coffee, coffee needs to be dried. And so what happens between when it gets picked and when it's dried sets the stage for what flavors will be available. But you, you have, there, there are, a couple different layers of like coffee fruit of things that are on the cherry that you have to get off. So one way to do that is by adding yeast because that yeast eats up those sugars and then you can dry the coffee. One way is by adding the orange juice because the acid dissolves those sugars and then you can dry it. Um, and then the third one that I put in there, we added salt actually to the fermentation and what that does is it creates an environment where lactobacillus can thrive because not a lot of bacteria and yeast can live in a super, super high salt environment. Um, so then lactobacillus, the bacteria, 
is the driver of the eating up all of the sugars and then we can dry it. So, okay, yeah. so in a nut, uh, nutshell, so wash coffee is uh, you take the peel out. Natural yep. is uh, intact, uh, you know, the skin. And the fermentation is happening either way. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, this special anaerobic process or, you know, different fermentation add some kind of flavor. I know you guys did peach as well, maybe some strawberry. You, when do you add it, uh, uh, those organic materials? Different producers will do it at different times. And I have never seen co-fermentation in person. So uh -huh. I can't super speak to it. Um, and I'll also say that like at Black and White, we tend to, we feature these coffees, but we aren't the ones like implementing the processes. The producers are, are doing that. Um, but it depends on, it depends on the producer. They all kind of do it in different ways. And some will do fruit juices to change the flavor, like not the, not the citrus yep. juice that we, I showed in the video, but they'll add like mango nectar mm -hmm. to it. Let's say somebody's making a mango co-fermented coffee. Mm. So they, some producers will add mango nectar, the like juice. Some producers will take whole mangoes, slice them up, and put them in there. And other producers will use dehydrated mango dust and put that in the thing. So it, it's each each producer, each farm, each. Uh, yeah, each operation kind of has their own way of doing it that works for them. And so when you put it in is you can do, I think most of our co-fermentations are happening with washed processed coffees. Okay. After you pick the coffee, you squeeze the, uh, the, um, yep. the seed out, and then you put the stuff together and let it sit for 48, yep. 96, however to 200 hours uh, so that the flavors kind of intermingle. Uh, some people will do it with a washed coffee. Some people will do it with a natural coffee. But what I've heard is that if you add flavoring to a natural coffee, it has, it still has the outer protective layer of the skin on there. So the fruit flavors don't penetrate as well and the coffee won't end up tasting as much like mango. Uh, so most co-fermented coffees will be washed in some way.